The premiere of season 3 of Shadow Hunters ended with a title card where it said in memory of Simon Zekis. Most of us were quite confused as to who Simon is as there is not much information available about him on the internet. After digging up we found quite a bit of information about him. According to few sources, Simon Zekis was born on Montreal, Canada where he grew and learned to be a VFX artist. His other details such as A's height marital status are not known as it is not available on the internet. His social handles such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter is also not found. He studied in post-production at ATM of Segev Day Zone Queer. He was one of the most talented students there. After graduation, he worked in various studios inside Montreal and lived there for a few more years. From there, he went to contribute to a number of projects. According to the information available on the IMDb website, Simon worked as a VFX artist on quite a few projects including Shadowhunters. However, he was not credited. His other work includes Ghost in the Shell 2017, The Shack 2017, Assassin's Creed 2016, Rogue One A Star Wars Story 2016, Allied 2016, Fallen 2016, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children 2016, The Shadows 2016, X-Men Apocalypse 2016, Race 2016, Blue Moon 2016, Versalis 2015 and Outcast 2014. A show like Shadow Hunters takes a lot of work and effort from the team and crew to make everything seem perfect. The visual effects is a tough job to nail and yet people like Simon Zaguz has done a great job. Simon Zaguz died in the summer of 2017. The cause of the death has not been disclosed. It's good to see the show appreciate the work of his fellow crew members. Our thoughts and prayers go out to his friends and family. His work and contributions will forever be remembered. If you like supernatural series then Shadow Hunters is an immensely popular supernatural TV show. It's a slick and polished production starring impossibly beautiful people and based on a popular book series The Mortal Instrument by Cassandra Clare. The first season came out in 2016 with 10 episodes but it proved so popular that season 2 has 20 episodes broken into two parts. And likewise, season 3 with 10 episodes in part 1 and 12 in part 2, all of which are now available on Netflix. Shadowhunters is one of those shows that will either have you gripped from the beginning or turning off a few episodes in. So be sure to check it out and honor Simon Zaquiz and his legacy. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos like this. See you next time.